Hello guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 23 and it's now time for another live GP race and we are in the sodden rain here in Valencia so it's been a while since I've had a full wet rainy session I think the last time we had one was the one in Mandalika but then of course that ended up uh, drying towards the latter states but qualifying wise I don't think I've had a wet qualifying so We'll see how we get on, and uh, hopefully we do well. And of course, if you do enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as well. But for now, let's talk business, and let's talk live GP here in Valencia. I fancy myself as sometimes a decent wet weather rider. Didn't have a good time out in uh, the Red Bull ring. I did make a couple of mistakes on board the Prima Prama Ducati, but I'm not too bad, and I think I'm good for a victory today, or possibly, at the very least, a podium. So... Fingers crossed, I'm just going to go for it and see what we can do. So far as it stands, Kaspar is the man who's about to set the fastest lap of the qualifying session. And I shouldn't be too far behind him in terms of position on the track. We're about to get the third split now. Of course, it'll naturally be red since no one else has set a lap time yet. And uh, I guess we'll find out how close we can be to Kaspar72 on board the factory Aprilia. So... He is crossing the line now, and he will go top with a 142.985. I'm currently red in each sector, so by the time we get across the line, this will give us a good indication of where our potential lies for today's qualifying across the line. It is a 138.610, so that is four seconds ahead of Kaspar as it stands. So uh, a bit of a mistake going into the Mar Mar martinez Aspar corner there, so... I'll probably not be improving, or maybe I will. I guess we'll find out at the end of this lap, but uh, so far so good. That's a, that's a great start. I'm happy with the pace we've shown already. A little bit slippy there upon the exit as we uh, just see one of the LCR Hondas. It's actually Thomas uh, we've raced with before. And uh, Zero we raced in the previous race in Mategi, I believe it was. He uh, He's just crashed in third place, but uh, I think only Kaspar and myself have set a lap so far. But here with the Red Bull KTM, feels pretty solid in the wet conditions. I, I tried the Ducati, I've compared it now to the Yamaha and to the KTM, and I'd probably say the KTM feels the best in the wet conditions. It feels good. In, in, in normal situations, I probably wouldn't choose the KTM to choose uh, for a race, but it uh, feels good here in this situation right now. So we will, or at least are looking to be improving by two tenths of a second. Now, uh, there's a lot of crashes happening now, but I think that is due to the autopilot glitch. For some reason, when you get onto the pit after, uh, or coming out of the pit and just respawn on the track, for some reason you crash immediately, so I think that's what it is, as I just abused the track limits there. I don't think... Yeah, we actually lost time there, so that is not a good idea for the future. Downshifting into first gear for the Adrian Campos corner. We'll bring on the power... We'll get across the line in a moment. I don't think it will be an improvement, but it'll be close to the previous lap time. So I'm just going to skip ahead now to our third lap, or uh, fourth lap, apparently. Uh, the first lap has gone missing somehow. I don't know why that says that's the first lap. Never mind. Anyway, this is our third lap. So I'm going to see what we can do. I'm pretty much content with where we are. I am yet to see anyone else really put a lap in, so... I think we should have this one pretty much done and dusted for this term, uh, for the sense of pole position and the qualifying. But we'll put in the one lap, and maybe I'll put in some more anyway. But I'll mainly just show you the fastest ones that I'm gonna do. And there is Trenchy ahead of us. So hopefully the Mooney VR46 rider won't hold us. Up. No, he didn't. <laughs> Beautifully done from the Mooney VR46 rider. But of course that does remind me of our championship with the riders being respectful and uh, showing good sportsmanship where, where you get out of the way for the rider who's on the fast lap time. So good job to Trenchy there. But of course, if you do want to get involved and you want to race with me and race with the Aces, definitely join the Discord server. I don't do a very good job of promoting this. I've started to make amends. But uh, check the description box down below and you can join the, Dis uh, the Dot Race Academy Discord server for more racing and everything else to be part of the server. So I would definitely recommend if you want to be part of the Ride 5 Online Championships, and if you want to even just race with me or the Aces, uh, definitely get yourself on board. But uh, we lost a lot of time there a moment ago. I think we were up by about four or five tenths until I made that mistake. So that is a problem, but into the final corner, downshifting all the way to first. I don't know whether that's a good idea, but it looks to be pretty clean. Bring on the power, and across the line it probably won't be an improvement, but... Oh, right, last second! 
138577. I think that'll do it. Let's crack on with the race. So not a particularly special lap time, but it's good enough for the qualifying. It's good enough for pole position. So there we have Kaspar72 in second place, just behind me in pole. And then in third, we have uh, an invisible opponent. I think there one of the riders did leave. There is Trenchy in fourth place. He is on board the Mooney VR46 Ducati. Thomas in fifth place, number six. And Matalamon in uh, sixth place with the number 12. So guys... I think this is time for us to go racing. So here in Valencia, let's see if we can get a good start. Wait for the red lights and away. Oh, it's a long delay. Are we good enough on the power? Not bad. Not as good as the Mooney VR46 Ducati. Brilliant from the number 96. And there is Mata Lamont in second place. Is he trying to go for the lead? Oh, he's missed his braking mark completely. I made a bit of contact with the, uh, the Mooney VR46 Ducati. A bit of lag going off here. This is... Getting a bit scary. And then, oh, Matalam on braked really. Oh, what is going on? Is that lag? What is going on? I've made contact with Kaspar and I've gone down. Oh, oh, goodness gracious me. What on earth is going on here? An absolutely bonkers start here in this Valencia race. And I, I don't know what's happening with that rider in second place. I think it's the lag. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I think there's some sort of problem with the connection here because that was very strange. But yeah, he seemed to break really early. I don't think he did do that. I think it was just the connection going all over the place. But this has made things interesting because I was expecting to have an easy race here. But now, not so much. So, we're using the power. I'm going to try and catch up to Trenchy with two seconds behind. And in turn, two seconds behind me is Kaspar, as Thomas has a, another bit of a problem behind us in fourth place but uh, yeah the fact that Ducati rider he had some bad connection there or something because that was absolutely bonkers but uh, with uh, plenty of time in this one I'm still confident we can get the victory but for the now we're in second place we're pretty much where we want to be just need to make sure oh I don't know the guy in front of me has got bad connection as well what kind of lobby is this who's on the Tesco internet this is not going well oh my god connection is just going haywire. How did he get a track limit warning for that? He was nowhere near the outside of the circuit. Oh, this is crazy, but he's only ahead of us now by half a second. But the problem is, is can we get past safely without the lag interfering the race? Oh, and he's off the circuit. Is the lag just going crazy right now? I don't know, but let's just try and keep out of, <laughs> for, uh, out of problems and uh, out of trouble and focus on the race. I'm down to power setting two. I'll probably stay on this now for the duration of the Grand Prix. And of course, power setting do, two does help because you're not putting too much power and you're not going to be spinning the wheels up too much. So this will have its benefit. But for now, with the five competitors we have, this is going to be a, probably a pretty good race for me, which is a... It's, it's good to bounce back like this. But I mean, it's not over yet, but it's good to bounce back and be competitive and be at the front because of course the last time out was in Mategi. And uh, yeah, we got shown up in that race. We had two very fast riders. They were much faster than I was. So it's good to be back in the uh, the front end of the book, back at the sharp end. Of course, oh, trenchy has gone. That's a shame. I was hoping he would be able to change, uh, catch me up and at least put some pressure on, but this video has now changed somewhat. I was hoping we could have a good old fashioned race, but I guess we'll change this now and we'll just focus on doing good lap times, but yeah. Compared to Mitegi, where we were fortunate to lead the race for a while, we uh, just didn't have the pace, we didn't have the speed, I didn't have the confidence either, either in, the, in anywhere in Mitegi, but it was a good race. I managed to get in the podium, and uh, it was a very interesting finish as well for the top two contenders in that video. Sadly, they aren't here now, because uh, the time zone is a bit different. I have to chase, chase them later on for a race, uh, probably towards the latter stage of the evening, but uh, for now, all good so far as uh, just go a bit deep into the Martinez Aspar corner and now into the Duan corner with a seven and a half second lead. This one is smooth sailing and I gotta say KTM feels really good in the wet and if we are moving up to MotoGP next season in the MotoGP career mode then I'm looking forward to see what we can produce. If there is wet races then we're going to be competitive we yet to have a full wet race in Moto GP 23 Moto 2 career mode, or in fact, no. By the time I uploaded this video, I think I've already released it, so yeah. The Phillip Island race, yes. The Phillip Island race, that is absolutely terrific. 
I hope you enjoyed that one. I won't spoil it just in case you haven't seen it yet, so, but uh, I definitely recommend watching that one. It uh, has a bizarre finish. Not something I was particularly expecting, but it's something I did fear. But uh, yeah, I'll not say any more. Go out there and have a look at that race. But for now, into turn 10. Ooh, a little bit, a little bit squirrely upon the brakes there, getting a bit loose going into turn 10. It's a difficult corner to get right. But thankfully, we, we were able to save it and still produce a decent lap time at the end of it, I hope. And into the Campy Heados corner. Be very careful here on the left hand side. The autopilot has a weird bug there. I mentioned it early on in the video, of course. But uh, yeah, very strange as we now got hard on the brakes. That's uh, a little bit too deep. Powering on to the uh, ride height device. I don't think it's necessary for these online races in the wet. But it's, uh, it's a habit I've started using, so I guess I'll keep it on. So three tenths of a second we have lost on this lap time. Onto the brakes into the first corner. We should gain around three tenths here in the first split. Oh no, it's comparing it to the previous lap, which was a decent lap. Not the, uh, the best lap, not the previous lap, so yeah. That's fine. <laughs> a little bit uh, all over the place in today's video. I wasn't expecting such a, b a bizarre start. So it's uh, I'm catching up on the commentary, let's say. But uh, today I've done a, a lot of videos because, of course, as I mentioned in a previous video a couple of days ago, I will be in Motorcycle Live for the week. So if you're going there in Birmingham for Motorcycle Live at the NEC, definitely come and say hello with, to me because I will be at the BMW Esports trailer with the Ride 5, of course, showing you guys how to play and... Uh, just getting involved with the community, so yeah, definitely come if you want to see me in person. But uh, yeah, I need to get a lot of videos done to ensure that my daily video quota is reached. Of course, I haven't missed a video in a long, long time, and I don't intend for that to happen here. I'm going to keep on making the videos, but uh, if you do think my voice sounds a little bit strained, it's because I've already done like four today. It's like my fifth video, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm working overtime to get this done. So into the Campy Helos corner again for turn 12. We are, we're closer this time around to a potential pole position, not pole position, race victory, but a, a fastest lap. Into the final corner. Thomas has gone down aboard the LCR Honda. And we bring on the power. Not quite working in the final corner, but we're still getting closer to setting that faster lap time. But still very... Um, what? For what? <laughs> Excuse me? I... I got a three second penalty? When did I get a long lap penalty? What is it with this game and doing that? That's that's probably now the third race I've had that. It happened in MotoGP 22 as well. I don't know what's occurred there. But I definitely didn't abuse the start. Oh well. <laughs> Questions with no answers. Apologies. Uh, I don't know why that has happened. If anyone knows, let me know. I, I do believe it's something to do with the start, even though it looks like I'm starting fine. People have said that you do need to leave it maybe a couple of milliseconds extra. I don't know. Questions, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that's happened. I really don't get that. But we have three seconds penalty. And uh, Kaspar's gone down, so maybe he's giving me that three seconds back. <laughs> I'd rather just do the long lap penalty. But if I had the warning to do the long lap penalty, rest assured I would do the long lap penalty. But I, I didn't have an option. Nobody told me I had one. I don't know. I don't get this. But I'm having fun, and that's all that matters. I'm doing my best Jack Anna 4658 impression right now. Of course, recent announcement for the MotoGP eSport champion. Of course, that was uh, won by him a couple of days ago. And uh, I tell you what, I can't be more proud. A brilliant job to our British rider, British eSport rider. Jack's a great guy, and we've got some videos actually planned together very, very soon. So I hope you're interested in that. But uh, yeah, terrific job. For the MotoGP eSport champion. What an incredible accomplishment that is. It That really is. It's just absolutely fantastic. So, great for him. I don't think it compares to the uh, ride for Dr. Ace British Superbike Championship, but uh, I'm sure he'll enjoy both very, very much. <laughs> but anyway, actually speaking of, the Ride 5 Championships are coming back soon as well. I mentioned earlier, join the Discord server if you want to be part of those championships. And I might even get some done in MotoGP 23 as well. Who knows? There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of content still planned for the future, but uh, into the Nico Troll corner, we're looking quite good. Apologies, I've not really commented, commentated much on this race so far because there's not really much to see. I just wanted to do my best job putting in good lap times and staying consistent in the wet. Of course, when we had that Aston race, most recent Aston race, was uh, when we had to face against two cheaters, and here we go. 
when the rain came down, we were by far the superior one, and it seems like it here today. Maybe this race would have been a lot closer if it wasn't so rainy. But right now, the rain master as it stands, and I am very much enjoying using this KTM. It's uh, inspiring me, you know. I've never found the KTM to be very useful. I, I always find I don't do particularly well. But I like it. It feels really good. And of course, rocking the... I think it's a new Sergio 23 helmet. You may or may not have seen that before. But uh, yeah, it feels good. I, I'm liking this. It, it feels great in the wet. But I have gone for the full soft option uh, combination as well. Which, uh, oh, I almost lost the front then. That was scary. We are approaching the back mark here in fourth place. So we're going to have to be a bit careful now. Hopefully he doesn't make a mistake and uh, take me out. And I don't think he's going to try and take me out. We have seen that before. But I don't think that's his intention. But I guess we'll find out as we go into the doing corner. But he has the problem with the lag. He does have the problem with the lag. So hopefully he waits for me to get past. Never mind. <laughs> he definitely doesn't want to. <laughs> he didn't want it. He didn't want it. He's getting the blue flags and he doesn't want them either. Look at the lag. Oh, the connection's all over the place. Get out of the way, sunshine. Oh, my goodness. Where is he now? Oh, this is it's so strange. Oh, he's, went, he's gone down. What a crazy moment that is. I, you can't predict anything when the lag's like that bad. Wow. As Thomas has gone down now for third. Where is he on track? He's in the Campiheros corner. Kaspar's just coming into the... Oh, he's come out of the Nico Terrell corner now. And uh, here we are in turn eight. So that's, that's what a 20-second lead looks like. Ignore the rider behind me. And then there is Caspar going into the Angel Nieto left-hander, I think it is. Uh, I can't remember, actually. <laughs> I'll probably feel... I don't remember what that corner's called. Is it the Cito Pons corner? We'll find out in the next lap, but uh, for now, I, I don't remember. But now, into turn 12. As Mata Lamont has gone down. He is down into turn 10-11, so he could be lapped by Caspar very, very soon, actually. Of course, channel member is Caspar. If you want to join the channel membership, you can do so as well by joining in the link in the description down below. Of course, it gets a few perks for the channel. You get to have a funky little badge at the end of your name, and you do get exclusive access to some emojis as well. And uh, most importantly, it does su support the channel, so uh, I do appreciate all my channel members. You get to see your name at the back end of the video in the outro. It's uh, into turn one, the three tenths of a second gap, or three tenths of a second improvement on the fast slap earlier on is still looking promising. I've got to try and get into the 137s before the end of the video. That's a big ask, because we do need to find six tens. And we don't really need to push that much, but I'm tempted. Maybe I'll go into power setting three, but with the with the tyres as they are right now, it's probably not going to happen. It would be... It would be foolish. But, uh, yeah, Matalamon's gone down again. Kaspar is now right behind him. He's just approaching the Nico Tirol corner. Are they going to get through safely? I think he's done him, but uh, I guess we'll notice in a minute if anyone goes down. If you see a crash symbol on the left-hand side, then I assume it's one of them too. But they're still neck and neck, though. It is hard to get past, though, with the, with the lag and the connection issue. Now into the right hand. Of course, we made a mistake here on the on the fastest lap of qualifying. It didn't cost us too much. But again into there, I just don't have the confidence. Not in the wet conditions, I... I feel like I can break harder there, but I just don't want to. I just don't. I haven't got the confidence for it, so I'm not doing it yet. But uh, into the final part. I do apologise that this video has not been the most interesting of live GPs, but uh, more than anything, I'm just happy to be back in the top spots, fighting for the victory. And it's nice to actually have one of these races every now and again. Just one where you can just chill out, chat to the viewers, talk rubbish, and just have fun. So that's uh, basically what it is today, so... It's a nice, easy one on my throat today, as you can tell already. It's, it is pretty much going. <laughs> I'm struggling to get out a few words. There's a couple of croakiness in the voice, but it'd be well worth it to know that there's content done for every single day I'm away. Because I just can't do content when I'm in the uh, in the hotel. I could try, but it, it wouldn't have my brilliant quality mic or even good quality videos. Because of course I'd be recording on a laptop or maybe on the Steam Deck. Maybe I could do a video on that. Can you believe it? I just did the Steam Deck. I bought that couple of weeks ago and uh, they just announced a steam oled for just price like 50 pounds extra so yeah mine and faux par from the doctor there if i uh, if i knew that i would have waited but it's okay i still very much like the steam deck and i have a video promised to come out very very soon but we are now approaching 
the final couple of corners of today's video. We are up by a bit, so we might improve the lap time on the final lap with tyres not looking too hot. So good stuff on board the KTM. As we now go into turn 11, three tenths of a second up we are. Four tenths, oh no. We lost a bit of time. Oh no, it's back, it's back. It was just misleading. And now onto the brakes, into the Campier Ross corner. Tight as you can to the apex. Oh, we, we will improve, but I don't know by how much. The rear tyre wants to slip now though. It's just skipping coming out to the left hand side. But onto the brakes and uh, messing that one up. <laughs> We're not going to improve now. <laughs> We're not improving now unless it goes a power setting three, but it doesn't really matter. The only important thing is that we are going to win this race here today. Ladies and gentlemen, we've won the Rainmaster in the rain here in Valencia. Guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.